I arrived on a Monday morning at work to find an email from our CEO's office and in it I heard there's this incredible bunch of kids doing incredible things sort of inspiring work and we should reach out to them and see what we can do to help them. We spend a lot of time thinking about the way technology affects all of us, the way technology can help people, the way it unites people, and trying to find ways to either tell a story that exists out there or facilitate a story like that. So I think we were excited to, to find someone who we thought was so deserving. The inspiration for Reboot for Youth came when I was 14 and I was partnering a nonprofit free tutoring program where I met a young man named Sebastian. He was in third grade and he opened up to me about his family's financial situation and how they couldn't provide a computer for him. So combining my skills and my knowledge um, and my interest in technology, I wanted to bridge that gap between low-income families and others who can afford that kind of blessing. I donated the first computer to Sebastian and after seeing his progress throughout the year and how the computer actually impacted his life, I wanted to continue this and sort of use all the resources I could get in order to bring this change to many other kids around the world. So after that, I started to look around and started to recruit some friends that I know from school. I'm really glad that uh, Chris came to me with the opportunity to be a part of this. Being able to do what I love and help other people is fantastic. So our main team is comprised of four core leadership members. Uh, I am the CEO, Griffith is our Chief Operating Officer, Arun is our Chief Communications Officer, and Peter is our Chief Technology Officer. Reboot for Youth is an extension of some of the values that we promote at Thomas Jefferson. So one core value that we emphasize to our students coming to a STEM school is social responsibility. They have that responsibility to give back to the local communities. It's not just about the science and the technology, but it's the impact on humanity and understanding how their work can improve the lives of other people. I think that teenagers actually have an interest in helping other people once they get a taste for it. So I'd say that one person that inspires me is my grandpa. He was actually a doctor in Vietnam, and when he was asked to go to a small island that was not really well known, he was first reluctant, but he noticed that no other doctor would, was willing to go to this island, and he felt that he needed to help the people there. He actually didn't charge any patients for any of the work that he did on them, and it motivates me to help the community as well. It turned out that these, these kids doing this great work lived not too far from where our Lenovo U.S. headquarters is in North Carolina. So we realized early on that a road trip was in our future. We loaded 75 laptops into our Jeep and traveled up to Northern Virginia. He might know we're coming. He might. It's hard to say. There's so many ways to get tipped off these days. Hey guys, how's uh, it going? Are you Griffith? Yeah, I'm Griffith. I'm Gavin, how are you? So, you guys know we've been inspired by what you're doing and that's why we're here. We obviously wanted to come learn your story, interview you, and make a video and share your story with the world, but there was part of the story that we didn't tell you. And so, <laughs> so maybe come, just take a gander at this and hopefully this will help you. We, we hit up the Lenovo warehouse this morning in North Carolina. <laughs> And we thought that might help you guys. <laughs> but we just, Thank you so much. You bet. We just wanted to, um, you know, give you a nudge along what you're doing. And these are these are yours to use at your discretion and, and uh, you know, gift as you see fit. And uh, we just wanted to say thanks. And so way to go. So right on, right on. <laughs> way to go. Thank you so much, guys. Thank we obviously you. need help unloading them, yeah, too, yeah. so yeah, give us a hand. Come on, let's go. <laughs> it's like Christmas morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Chris. Since I couldn't be there today to help hand off the Lenovo laptops to you, I wanted to send a note to congratulate you on the good work you are doing. Selfless and driven, you are serving as an inspiration to the teenagers around you. Glad to learn that you go to STEM high school. Best wishes in school and your charitable efforts going forward. Let's stay in touch. Regards, Yuan King Yang. Uh, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh my god.